Hey, travelers, we're back again, and we've got some great beer. You know, tonight I decided I haven't been to the coffee grounds here in Eau Claire. Uh, if you're just tuning in, by the way, we're in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Um, we have a place called the Coffee Grounds, and they have a massive selection of craft beer. and uh, Amongst other things. Amongst other things, craft whiskeys and... Uh, spirits of all kinds, really. Wine. Yeah. A ma- massive selection of wine, uh, cooking utensils. and yep. They have a brewery in-house. Cheese and, yep. you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's a fantastic place to go. And we've talked about them before. Um, but I hadn't been there in a while. And, and I noticed our, our buddy Candice had been putting out a lot of beer that, uh, I- I'll be honest with you, I was getting a little bit of FOMO about, uh, you know, fear of missing out. Yeah. FOMO. Never heard of FOMO. How old are you? Yeah, I'm like 23, at least. Um, so, yeah. Um, obviously, since the lockdown and, and we haven't been going anywhere, um, you know, we've made like, what, two trips to the cities, I think, to some very limited places. Uh, you know, we were there for a very little amount of time. To go beer. Yeah, to go beer. And, and obviously, when you go to those uh, or you do those kinds of things, you can't go everywhere. No. And that's the hard part. So, um, I decided that it's probably about time we start trying some of these places in the cities that I keep hearing so much about and seeing so much about on the uh, on the Insties and the, the Facebooks and the, you know. The book face. Yeah, even Twitter sometimes. Um, yeah, there's positive things on Twitter. You believe that? Anyway, um, I decided to go with a theme. We haven't had a theme really in a while. So, uh, pie beers, right? Pie. Pie. Yeah. Everybody likes pie. And the, the first beer that, that I think we should try, I saw and I thought of you because, um, one of your favorite shows is the Great British Bake Off, right? The British with Baking Championship. Whatever. Yes. That one. Uh, with Paul Hollywood and... Mary Berry. <clears throat> Mary Berry and whoever the new one is and the hosts and all that. Ten episodes. Sure. Yeah. But Blackstack, out of the Twin Cities, I'm not sure exactly which suburb they're in. Um, oh, St. Paul. North St. Paul. How about that? Uh been hearing a lot about Blackstack. I've never been to Blackstack. As a matter of fact, I think we were we were going to go there and then we got locked down and obviously we haven't been back or you know, been over that way. So um yeah, welcome Penny again. Uh so yeah, I've been hearing a lot about it. I've been hearing a lot about these uh great Blackstack Bake Off beers. So this I don't think this is just the only one. You want to smell that? Yeah. So this is the Blackberry French Toast from Blackstack. Blackberry French Toast. Mm. And from what I understand, Ooh. it is very pretty. I'm excited. Ooh, it's very pretty. I'll pour you a little more than I normally do. So pretty. Because I bet you'll probably like it. It looks like juice. No, oh, I can smell it, and it's not even quite my nose. <laughs> How about that? Penny wants it, too. Oh, my smells like blackberries it does smell like blackberries oh, that Ooh. is yummy and it's tart it's not sugary at all no that's good so they're they're calling this a pastry style sour what's the aftertaste uh cinnamon lactose and cinnamon cinnamon that's good i'd have more than one of those so the other great thing about and maybe you have this where you are obviously you don't have a coffee ground where you are but you might have something similar so candace gets all of these six packs and four packs and all all these great things in now i don't know if i'm gonna like this beer right this this is what we're tasting yeah the maple syrup yes and obviously it's it's gonna be pretty expensive these days for these kinds of beers right You're, you're looking at you know, 17, 18 mm-hmm. bucks a four pack, those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Now, 
do you really want to commit to a whole four pack? No, not knowing if you're going to like it or not. You put that back up. There. <laughs> uh, no, the answer for me is absolutely not. No, I don't, I don't want to commit that much money to something that I may not end up drinking. And I'm sorry, looking at this beer, I would think it would be super <clears throat> sweet. So I would not even. I'd be like, and with our past experiences, yeah. it's about fifty percent or more times. Wow. It's it's crazy sweet and. What do you do with that then? You can't cook with it. Um, so, or at least we don't. So, um, she lets you pull beer right off the four pack. Yep. So you can take, she's got six pack um, carriers. Holder, yeah, carriers out there. And she will let you take whatever you want off of any four pack. And it is the best deal ever. Yes. Do you pay a little more? Sure. But. It's. It's well a little. It. It's a little more. It's not a lot more. Yeah. That is really good. Like, super good. All the flavors. Yeah. It's so weird because you, I can taste probably three or four things. Like right when you taste it. And then right at the end, there's a whole different flavor. It's mm. super tart off the bat. So if you like tart. and I Sour. Don't, and I it's don't like mean, a sour. I don't mean like super sour. I would call this more tart. At least tart for, like at least fruit. For, yeah, at least it's for my palate. Like a fruit tart would be really, it's tart like that. Or at least tart like a really tart orange. Mm -hmm. Acidity, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's great. Is it? Is it a sour beer? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so yeah. good. It's kind of neat. I mean, the, the, the label, obviously, and then they put BSB brews like... Uh, BBC News, <laughs> nice. you know, that kind of thing on the back. It's neat. So the design's great. That's... Uh, hopefully they don't get sued by the BBC because I would hate to see that go away, but... That <clears throat> is a very well-made beer. Yes. It has lots of levels and, and layers in and it. to be it's honest delicious. with you, all I hear about Blackstack is it's fantastic. Where is this again? Uh, s uh, North St. Paul. We're going there. The The issue that I've had in the past with all of the black stack that we get here in Eau Claire is that most, most, up until this one, have been all double dry hopped IPAs. Oh. So, me, I do like to try those kinds of beers, but with Beth being my co-host for the last Sorry. two months or whatever it's been. We don't really delve too much into that because then I end up finishing all of it. And once my mouth gets hop fatigue rather quickly. So. Once Troy Boy comes back, you can have all of them. Oh. Yeah. That's nice. She loved the mama. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I thought, well, if we're going to do one pie beer, why not do another, right? And is the other one a sour too? I believe it so. It looks like it. I believe so. It is a Ooh. coconut cream pie sour ale from Southern Grist. And I think we've had Southern Grist on the mm -hmm. vlog before. Um, coconut cream pie is my favorite pie, though. Yeah. So they're out of Nashville. We're gonna. I'm going to mix these later and just see how that is. Berries and cream I'm pie. I'm not so sure how that's going to... Well, let's coconut? just see. You might want to take the rest of it out of there. I don't know how those flavors are going to jive. If I would have thought about it, I would have got a, a oh, separate no. set of glasses. It'll jive just fine. I think so. Mm-hmm. Look at there's still pink in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of pink in there. Yeah. <gasps> oh, do you smell that one? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, a lot of coconut. <laughs> and believe it or not, in a past life, actually it was this life, but in the past oh, last my. half of my life, I hated coconut. I hated coconut as much as I hate bananas. However, marrying into an Italian family that eats a ton of coconut, uh, I learned to love it. So, uh, coconut, or he doesn't eat coconut so. beer is some of my favorite. This beer. is smooth. This is not sour like I thought it was going to be. Ooh, wow! It's delicious, smooth, and that's good. That initial coconut like hit is is intense and it's great it's not sickly sweet though but it is not sour it's not tart. well like you said it's not tart like the other one but it is it still has that back bite though on the back end yeah but it's smooth it really wow. is there again it's got it's got lactose in it just like the other one um these kinds of beers i love if they use lactose in a 
Um, were you paying attention too? Yeah. <laughs> She's learning. If they use lactose in a way mm. like this, where it's just to enhance or maybe round that, that bite off just a little bit, I love it. If they're using lactose as they would, uh, oh, I don't know, in a milkshake where they just throw all of the lactose in there, I'm not a big fan. That it's the it, base. Then it, and then it makes it too sweet. Yeah, that it's the base instead of just on that right. outside. This has marshmallow in it. I can definitely taste that in there. Let's see. It's in there. Oh, it does. Brewed with lactose, salt, coriander, mm. coconut, marshmallows, vanilla, and graham crackers. Wow, those are both really good beers. I'm going to have a little more of that. I'm going to mix them, so <clears> give <throat> me a shot and a shot. I would take just take, a shot. Just, take just a little Shh, bit more that's just, good. just to try it without that extra sour from, from the previous one. Oh, but it's so good. I know. Mm. Now you get a little more of the sour, mm -hmm. but you get a lot more of the salt. Mm -hmm. Wow, those are both good. Yeah. Okay, now mix me. I just want just halvesies. Just, just a little bit. Just have so it's halvesies of each. There you go. I don't. It almost canceled the smell out. What do you think of that one? Yeah. Wow. Or, or do I? I don't know where he's been. Should I share a glass? Oh, my. It mellowed out the tartness. A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The more you drink... It's like a cheesecake. The, the It'd more... be like a blackberry cheesecake taste. Sure. Like. The more you drink this one, the more you get some of that salt. Yes. You really start getting a... Those are both really good. Yeah. Wow. So if you can find, and granted, those of you outside of the Minnesota, Wisconsin area probably aren't going to find Blackstack. However, Southern Grist, they do a pretty decent job of distributing around these parts and the, the Midwest in general. So if you're in the Midwest, you know, see what you can find. Otherwise, if you want to do a beer trade, you know, I could probably find something for you. Anyway. Um. So I had an idea for next week. Yeah. Oh, really? Either a green beer. A green beer for St. Patty's Day? Yes, yeah. or black and tans because that's a huge thing apparently that I didn't know about was black and tans and how people take them because a lot of people, they have certain favorites that they like to have for black and tan and I don't really have a favorite. Like so. Guinness and uh, Harp? Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be something to think about for next week. Sure. You know, I've I've tried to uh, make black and tans at home, and I'm not great with it. Uh, I've watched. We have a um, a little Irish bar. I, I call it little called Dooley's here in Eau Claire. Mm -hmm. It's primarily a college bar, so I don't frequent it very often. And especially during these times, I don't frequent bars really all that much anyway. Um, they do a great job, or at least the last time that I was there during St. Patty's Day or, you know, just in general, they do a great job of pouring a good black and tan. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get that harp just floating right on top of that Guinness. Yeah, is it yeah. equal pour? Is it two-thirds, one-third? What is... We're going to have some research. We're going to do some research. Boy, if I would have known you were going to ask these questions. Well, no, for next week. I, I would like to say I was going to research it. I probably still wouldn't have, but... I will. Beth will do some research. Yeah. Uh, the other great things that we're working on other than beer and then, you know, stuff with St. Patty's Day. Um, I don't think you can buy green. By the way, I don't think you can buy green beer in a can. I don't think it comes that way or a bottle for that matter. Usually what they end up doing is just getting Coors Light because it takes on color so well and they just pour green pour dye in, in it. There. Yeah. I'm just waiting for a Lucky Charms beer. I wonder how that would taste. Yeah. If you're a brewer out there, Lucky Charms ahead. beer because they have one. like I know I just saw that they released the the green one for St. Patty's Day. It yeah. has the the marshmallows in it for the well we're four poor. leaf clover. We're poor, so we uh, buy marshmallow mateys. <laughs> so if you want to buy, if you want to make a marshmallow mateys, uh, no, beer, it's called their kids go, you go pile you go, through cereal. You go right ahead, and make a marshmallow mateys one, and we won't judge you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. 
It's like having another. But yeah, kid. we'll have we'll do some work for next week. Uh, we are working on the podcast. By the way, I told yes. you last week that we're a go in April, and we're still a go in April. I believe we are going to call it the Taproom Takeover Podcast. Uh, logos being developed right now, obviously not by me because I'm not that great of a logo maker. Um, <clears throat> we're scheduling breweries and some great breweries that we haven't been to. So that's even more exciting. Um, you know, it's numbers are going down and that's great, but we're still going to be cautious and stuff. Um, if we're going to get some video of these places if we can, but, uh, shout out to the places that are allowing us to come in and, um, uh, you know, interview them mm -hmm. because, there's a lot that's happened, believe it or not, since the last time that we've gone. Even, I think we went to one uh, place during the pandemic, and that was that was over <laughs> in Chippewa, and <laughs> that was early on in the pandemic when when things weren't so bad. Um, that that's been it. So, um, very excited to talk to people about how things are going and. What you things know, what, are new? What what's, they're doing. what's new? What does the future hold? Those kinds of things. And of course, we, we always hope for positives for all of that. And um, I'm hoping that all of the answers are positive. But we really want to get out there and we want to we start talking to people again. And, and we want to show you and, and have you listen to the voices of the people that, that run these places and make the beers. and Because they are real people. And... Um, that's part of the exciting part when, when you can actually, uh, you know, you can put a face or a voice to the place that you go to. So uh, that's part of why we started doing all of this. So And hear their story. Yeah, yeah. And their Because journey. they have some great stories. And mm -hmm. I, I, what, this almost seven years that we've been doing this now, uh, I don't think I've heard the same story yet. So even just brewer, uh, brewers and workers and people that we've talked to without actually getting it on video or audio or anything like that, uh, some very unique stories. And they all come from super different backgrounds. And well, who, it's, it's just intriguing. Who was the one that was a physicist or a chemical or what is... Randy? Randy to a French horn player. Yeah. To like just... just the most amazing off the wall of like, and then they, there was beer. So which circles back to, if you haven't already watched <laughs> our full episodes that we used to do, which, uh, we'll get to those again. I think. Yeah, we will. Um, uh, make sure you do that because there are some really interesting stories that we've, we have in the backlogs and, uh, to my knowledge, most of them are, if not all of them are still open. Mm hmm. So some even have moved to a new location because yeah. they're doing so well. So, so uh, check those out and then look them up. And when you're ready to go out and find a new place to go, go see them. So I think uh, I think we've rambled on long enough this week. But uh, if you can find those beers, find mm. them and let us know. Do you have any uh, pie beers in in your area that, or that you've been drinking that uh, that tickle your fancy? Because We'd like to know about them, and maybe, who knows, maybe we'll try them on the vlog some night, right? Could if we can ever, get a hold of them. Could you ever make a, a pie that has beer in it? I don't know. We could try it. Who knows? Yeah. There's something to think about. Anyway, comment below. Make sure you like this video, and if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to us. Find us on all the other social media channels like Instagram, Facebook, and I've even tweeted I've even I've even done an original tweet lately. Can you believe that? Oh Not my! Just retweeting. What a world! Anyway, retweet. We, we'll see you next week, everybody. <laughs> Until then, prost. Prost. Hey everybody! Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>